All right, boys, so I'm sure most of you know that a couple of weeks ago, I made a video on this YouTuber, I guess we could say, called Food Is Zen, and that video did pretty good. I did a poll, I'd say maybe a week ago, and I asked you guys if you would like to see another video on him, and the majority said yes. I think it was like 80%, 85, something like that. So here we are making another video on him and to be honest the other things he did in his videos or said in his videos weren't that bad or weren't that bad compared to what we're gonna see in this video. I would really say that he went a little bit too far with this one and I'm really surprised that his channel is still on YouTube after this. I do want to mention this really quickly though I don't think this was a problem in the last video I might as well say it but don't go over to his channel and give him any hate mainly because we don't want to give this school threat any attention because that's obviously what he's trying to get so yeah let's go ahead and check out this video because it really gives you a good idea of what it looks like when somebody never leaves their house and it's Daniel Foolist Man back again with another video. Holy shit, who let this sperm donor baby on the mic? One freak was enough to deal with. I seriously fear for any schools in a 15 mile radius of these two threats. And today, we're gonna be explaining why Gabby Pepiti, your stupid Italian name deserved it so the first literally no way this is real life bro let's just look past what he said for a second i mean we all heard it no need to repeat it at this point but look at this kid's fucking hair there's actually no way this is real life i've gotten a lot of comments on my past fudasen video claiming they know him and he's in their class and if that's true how the fuck do you leave the house looking like this i actually need to know fudasen i know you're watching this video you've commented on my last video multiple times please for the love of fucking god let me know did your little sister cut your hair and how do you leave the house looking like that and not feeling like an idiot why she deserve it is because she's a bad youtuber and her husband is actually a very good editor and he got really mad which is he deserved to get mad at her and kill her because if only we could get rid of all of the bad youtubers on this site am i right but you know fudasen i don't really think you have the right to talk about who is a good editor when you quite literally don't edit your videos at all we've seen that in the last video and we're gonna see it in this video as well in my last video i got a lot of comments from people who watch fudasen that tried to say that fudasen is a master troll and people like me are what ruined the internet but being a fucking idiot on camera and saying people deserve to die while also making up random shit which you're gonna see in a second about their bank accounts and shit we don't know about and neither does he that's not being a master troll that's being a fucking incel and it's really sad to see that there is 500 other incels that subscribe to this one i'm not sure how many extra chromosomes you have to have in order to think something like this is funny or trolling in any way because it's not you're just a fucking loser she stole all of his money like you can check the bank records guys it's gonna be coming out real soon her funeral sucks <laughs> her funeral just fucking suck there's just a bunch of people walking around with their baby strollers <laughs> Bro, holy shit, why is this fucking retard in the video? I mean, Fudison is manageable, but this other kid makes me want to jump off a fucking cliff. Like, seriously, I make way better videos than Gabby Padlina, you know? Like, nobody cares about some stupid couple. Like, you're just trying to monetize your love life or some stupid crap. I'm so stupid, plus you're gonna break up in a few years anyway. <laughs> yeah, plus she had a robot face structure. Yeah, she looks like a robot. Like, uh, Daniel Joseph. <laughs> He's 
so bad. I actually don't care if you're kidding. If you look like this, you don't have the right to joke about someone else's looks. You look like the red Teletubby, all right? Let's not talk about anybody else. You guys do not know I love Wojak <laughs> memes on Reddit. <laughs> And they post unfunny Nick Avocado jokes on Reddit. I'm such a cool person. <laughs> I could just tell you were a active user over on Reddit. I mean, look at this kid and tell me he doesn't look like someone who would regularly post over on Reddit. And we all know what else you were doing over on Reddit. Just taking a look at you, we know you have never had any sort of contact with a female. So you're definitely spending a lot of time on Reddit doing a lot of different type of activities. The other freak in this video, the guy you heard screeching at the top of his lungs, is his friend I guess. I heard about him when I originally heard about Foodison. He was also brought up in my discord. If you would like me to make a video on him, I can as well. He's honestly a little bit worse than Foodison, mainly because his thing I guess is screeching. I don't know why it makes him sound like he's retarded. but. I genuinely would like to know the thought process behind these two making these videos. Are they hoping to gain something out of it at some point or are they just having fun? I don't understand why you would risk your entire future to have a little bit of fun on the internet. So that leads me to believe they're hoping to monetize this at some point but unfortunately YouTube isn't going to accept a channel like this for monetization and I'm not even sure he's going to get to a thousand subscribers. He's getting more views per video, but his channel is growing slower than mine. Nobody fucking likes this kid, except for a couple hundred weirdos out there on the internet that think this shit is funny. Of course, most of them are like 12 years old, maybe younger. I know that for a fact because they were in my comment section and you could just tell they were fucking little kids. So food Listen, please let me know what your thought process is behind these videos. I am genuinely curious. I know you're down there in the comment section, so let me know. If I have any Foodison fans down there in the comment section, feel free to blow up my comment section again. You guys are stupid as fuck and have no idea what trolling is. As cringy as that sounds saying out loud, it's true. With that being said, that is where I'm going to end the video. Video. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on the video, comment down in the comment section. I'm going to read out my members really quickly and I'm going to dip. So thank you to Quincy J, Charles Ware, and the Archive Guy. As usual, I appreciate you boys more than anything and I will see you in the next one. Peace.